Okay, Jacob, thanks for getting your work reposted. Um, all right, so let's take a look at what's going on. I, 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 I'll just go through this presentation. Thanks so much for getting this in. Cover looks awesome. Page, first page. You know, we, we jump right into this really super heavy text and we continue and we continue. Let me give you my general opinion or my general uh, foresight here it, 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 into the work is, is this. Here's what we see. We see this really awesome introduction area. Okay, great picture, really a nice, warming, inviting cover. Then we come in and, and we and we start with some real heavy text, okay? And the the in conjunction with that, we have a very, very kind of flyer type page size. I um, haven't checked, but I'm gonna guess it's eight and a half by eleven, and it is. And and I, I just think that there could be so much more interesting page sizes. And we'll get back to that in, in just a second about your page size. But generally, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you're you're really text heavy up front. In your presentation, super text heavy. Not that you're not using images, you are. You're using an image as well. But um, the the way the page size is is that you're just bombarding your viewer with all of this text for the first several pages, right? Then you get into your design solutions, and all of a sudden, there's no text at all. You've stopped describing things. You've stopped giving your theory and your foresight. I mean, your your insight, and you've you've just stopped altogether. And just depending on visuals, which is, it, it's okay that you're using a lot of visuals, but you can't depend on visuals in a, in a informational presentation um, at all. So we really have to get in here. Like, for instance, this is the first time we've seen this. Okay, where did this come from? What is it? Why is it here? What is it intended for? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I can definitely say that this background image here is not a suitable image, I would say, for a winter Olympic game. Um, I, I think that that's a kind of a miscommunication there. Um, and, and these aren't believable. Um, I, I mean, I don't know how, how, um, that looks great right there. I shouldn't say they're not believable. They, they are, but let me show you up some issues. Okay. For example, this is not, it, it looks like a vector, um, and it's, it's a banner. And, you know, if you can use Photoshop and actually find an image, well, let me, sh I'll show you some examples in a second. And maybe you get some ideas from those. Okay. Um, but anyways, I'm just like really like all of a sudden, you know, I'm wondering if you can change your page size and, and distribute this text through a little bit, you know, a little bit deeper into the presentation. And then when you get to your design solutions, really start continuing that text and start describing things. What's going on here? What's, what are your, what's your thoughts? What's going on? What, you know, describe everything that we see here. Um, the origin, the, the form, the construction, the theory behind it, the concept behind it, all of that would, would really, really help. That image is, is pretty large and it's kind of out of context. And this one is, that's placed there as like, as just kind of like this stand. And it's just not believable. There's a shadow that's, you know, this shadow here is cast over here, whereas this shadow here is cast over here. That's indicating two different light sources. So, you know, that, that's something you really, really want to start polishing up. Let me show you some examples, okay? And this would be, uh, let me go back to yours. It's 15 pages. It's about 23, about seven pages more. But just watch what happens here, okay? Great introduction. Beautiful table of contents. Really starting to develop some form throughout this very, very interesting page size, which is a total of 22 by eight and a half. So what she's done, what, I'm sorry, what this designer has done has taken those eight and a half by 11s and, and put them in a landscape format back to back. I shouldn't say landscape. I should say horizontal. So it's really 11 by eight and a half. And so, so as a spread, it opens up to 22 by eight and a half, which is pretty interesting size. When we look at the next page and we can see how it just comes into introduction and works image into the, the presentation, um, primary branding elements and talking about how the logo became um, pictograms, how they became branding colors, recurring patterns, and really describing everything. Okay. Now note when she gets to the, or when this designer gets to the visual, visualizing the games, I want you to see how this, this presentation just really takes off. Okay. Really super believable Photoshop techniques here and here all the way down the line. Those are, that's a, that's nice work right there. Um, the, uh, kiosks, um, you know, that's pretty believable on that ice ring. That is, looks fabulous right there. And this is just all different Photoshop techniques. 
that you can perfectly do if you find the correct images. And this presentation, look at look at that program, event program, that's gorgeous. And and this just goes on and on and on and on with these gorgeous, you know, renderings of different types of merchandising and tickets and medals and placards and environmental graphics and look at the website. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, is really take a look at the, the, the amount of work behind this and, and, and then decide for yourself where you want to be with your presentation. Okay. I, I think that, like I said, I think your presentation starts wonderfully. I think if we just get a different size page and uh, start working a little bit more on page construction and uh, the page mechanics itself in terms of, of a, a nice, nice harmonious layout. Um, I think it would really help. And then let's, you know, really start working on the tail end of the presentation. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to get with me. I'm here. I'll be doing double time this week because I know you guys will be working hard to get your, your work finished. So I'll be here. Thanks, man.